Hey everybody, Winnie Clinky with Blue Cat Studio. Sorry, I'm a couple minutes late getting started. I had some technical difficulties, but I think we're good. So, Technique Tuesday, and that would be T W O S Tuesday today. Pretty awesome because it is 2 22 I mean, anyways, I don't know. I love that. So, call me, call me silly, ridiculous, whatever. I love that. All right, this thing looks off. Okay, there we go. So today we're going to be doing the concept of the cross in terms of composition. So what that means is um, it's going to be basically kind of a line that goes like so, and then something that kind of goes like that. So we're going to use a sailboat, kind of like the, the tall parts of the sailboat plus the reflection to do that. So, but first I'm going to tone the canvas and I am just feeling this deep, rich quinacridone magenta as our base coat. So we're going to start there and don't forget to say hi uh, if you're watching. So I know you're there. If you have questions, let me know. Again, this is just the getting the base coat in. I think I'm going to water it down just a tiny smidge because that's going on pretty thick. Just a pinch of water on my brush. Um, and you know, no one's really asked me this recently, but I do get asked from time to time, why do I tone my, why do I tone my surface? Um, and really it's just because it, it adds a little bit of richness for any parts that I let peek through. I hate to say it, it kind of lets me be a little bit lazy. Hi Holly, how you doing? Good to see you girl. Okay, so now we've got this beautiful electric vibrant base color. And I need my little offloading thing. So I'm just going to pick a page in my textbook, not one from my classes, but something random I got at Friends of the Library. You know, it was at like five bucks for a five bucks for an entire grocery bag, like one of those big paper bags. I was like, I'll take it. Hey, Linda, how you doing, girl? Good to see you. Okay. So now I'm getting the, all right. Yeah. You know, when things get like, go a little like funky when I'm trying to do a thing and I'm like, oh, you gotta stay on schedule, I get flustered. And you know what? I'm a little flustered. So I'm gonna take a hot second to just take a breath while I'm blowing this dry. Woo. So, there we go. There we go. I'm gonna come back and I'll have my crap together and I'll, we'll be spot on. Okay. So now that we've, whoops, it's still a little damp over here because I added water. I love this quinacridone. I can't wait to see what happens. I usually use an orange tone, but I'm, I'm, I am enjoying this. So we're going to go with it. And then we'll grab, I'm going to stick to, to a medium to large brush again. Where'd he go? Oh, okay. I'll take this guy. It's an angled brush and I'm just grabbing an ang angled brush because it's what I have on hand. Hey there, other Linda, Linda, Linda Clark. I'm... Not sure I could pronounce your middle name there. So we have two Lindas on and then hey, Elizabeth Guzman. Good to see you. Okay, let's go ahead and get sketching. And why don't we sketch with mermaid tail teal or some kind of a teal. Oh, here, I'm gonna grab a, a tube o teal. No, 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 I'm not because my hands aren't strong enough. Okay, we'll stick to mermaid tail. So I'm just sketching with a teal because it'll show up, but it also will kind of blend in the background. Yeah, I know. Take a breath. Take a breath. Thank you, Linda Stewart, for the reminder. Take a breath. <laughs> I try not to get flustered, but sometimes I do. Okay. So we'll begin with kind of just a rough horizon line here. So again, we're doing the concept of a cross. And so each week we're, be we're doing kind of the basics of composition. And sometimes if you're kind of struggling with, well, how do I put a piece together, especially if you're doing landscapes, but it can be used for all sorts of things. Using some of these different core components um, can really help. Hey there, Christy, good to see you. And so for this one, we're doing the idea of a cross. So traditionally speaking, that would be something like this, right? Now I can kind of, I think we're gonna kind of have fun with this and add a couple of, maybe a couple of boats in here, maybe one, one or two or three. I don't really know, but we can have a couple of masts, but that is the general composition, right? And so it's going to feel fairly, very, fairly linear in this way, plus a few tall pieces and a little bit of something kind of going along in either section here. I hope that makes sense. Hey, Lisa Joe. Oh, you love my tips and techniques. You watched the tunnel one with a purple. And you love the book for offloading. Oh, and you're in California. Very cool. 
Yeah, that tunnel one, like that was that was interesting. Okay, so I added a little bit of white to my mermaid tail teal just so that I can see it better, but we've got a base idea about where we want things to go. And so I'm gonna make these boats teal because why not, right? All right, I'm freehanding this, so bear with me. I have my horizon line and my reference photo. <laughs> Christy says, good to see you. Feels like it's been forever. Yeah. Okay, so I know I've got kind of a bow here and it's kind of going at an angle. I'm just, I literally just grabbed a random photo off of Canva. I just kind of looking at it. So I'm going to block this in. A little mast there. I'm just going to block in a few pieces. All right, and I've kind of got a little lighter, lighter spot here. And I'm kind of like, I'm going to do just like three boats, I think. So because, so here's where freehanding it can be a little bit tricky. Um, I'm kind of looking over my shoulder to, to do this. Um, we want to make sure that the one in the front is kind of the largest. And then the ones show up smaller. Let's see. Lol, the flag must have shown up as CA. I'm actually in Canada. You know what? It just said CA. And because I'm from California, I, I thought California. So I apologize. Now, I'm not in California anymore. But hello from Canada. See, I figured you'd been like, oh, hello from, you know, Quebec or Saskatchewan or wherever you're from. Where are you from, Linda? I mean, Lisa. Lisa Joe. I'll get that right. And Linda says, I'm super excited about these sailboats. Okay, well, I, I'm super excited, but I'm a little intimidated too. <laughs> I'm a little intimidated here. Okay, so I've, I've, oh crap, and I'm just getting excited. Okay, so we've got that in there. I'm going to tweak those colors quite a bit, but I just wanted to do a little color blocking. And then I'm going to grab some of that deeper teal and just start to kind of bring some of it in through here, just kind of. A few bits, and I'm keeping it fairly light and sketchy so that that quinacrid on magenta peeks through. In fact, I'm going to probably come back in back in this zone and add some more quinacrid on. But again, we're just getting kind of some base coats in. I'm really tempted to just do the sky, but I think I want to get the um, the masts in first and then color in uh, behind that. Ooh, an hour north of Toronto, so. It's still most definitely winter for you, isn't it? All right, so grabbing more white. Actually, I gotta wipe a lot of this off. I've gone like teal mad with this. And then there. So now we got lighter color coming over the boats. Gonna kind of keep it lighter at the top. Right in here. And I'm gonna also keep this kind of blocky and almost just kind of sketched in and taking some almost pure white. See if I can mix a little lighter bit, just a little, little surface, because you can kind of from where we're standing, you know, speak standing, quote unquote. You can kind of see the top of the deck of this thing. Okay, I'm gonna offload. What I, oh my boat, my my boat, my my book flipped over. Just getting the excess paint off. I don't know that I need to rinse, but you know I've got so much on the ferrule. I'm going to at least wipe. Oh, this looks great. Oh, thank you. <laughs> We're only just getting it in place. Let's grab some orange or something orangey. Do I have some orange? Well, I've got some green and I got some quinacridone. Hey, let's see what color happens when we take this color and quinacridone. So uh, we're kind of playing the what what do, what colors does Wendy have at her fingertips? And let's see what, what she can make with those game. So I'm betting that I can take some quinacridone and this crazy yellow and kind of make a orangey brown color. And yeah, I'll kind of can, that works. What size book am I using? I don't know, I think it's a nine by 12. Oh, hey, look, I have a, a ruler there amongst the junk. Oh, 
uh, eight and a half by 11, I guess. Nine by 11. I don't know. They make sketchbooks in weird sizes. I have no idea. All right, so we're going to actually do the mast. And you know what? Masts on boats are not always directly straight up because you tend to have, um, you tend to kind of get a little bit of a list. The lean. So I'm going to make them a little bit fatter than normal. And then we'll kind of block some of that out. So I'm using my kind of orangey brown. I think I want to add some dark teal to part, to part of that right in here. A little bit more quinna, a little bit more of that green. So I just want a darker color. There we go. And it doesn't really matter that it's not exact to the photo. We are using a crap ton of artistic license today. <laughs> and Holly says little CMYK-ish. Uh-huh. You know me. I'm just going to kind of come in right next to that sort of orangish color tone that I did. All right, very good. And I think I'll take that plus a little bit more of the quinacridone magenta. So look at that. We're using basically these three colors, teal, screaming green. Oh, technically it's phthalo yellow green, but we can call it screaming green, zombie green, whatever. And then the quinacridone. So now we've added a, created kind of a nice deeper color. And I'm just kind of looking at the, at the picture and kind of picking the colors out and trying to figure out what goes. So I'm adding a little bit of shadow underneath these boats. And notice I'm leaving some of that quinacridone right up in there. And we'll just kind of take some of this, creating some of the deep tones back and forth. And I know I'm a little all over the place, you guys. But since I've got the colors, I'm just going to get those, those deeper tones in first. So I'm really kind of trying to focus on getting the dark colors in. And then we'll come back in and lighten and then lighten and then lighten. And so my first my first line on that mast ended up being a little bit lighter than I wanted. So that's why I'm just kind of coming back. So we'll add a little bit there. Be a little angling here to just kind of maintain my, my bows. And then for balance, because I've got... We'll get the mast. Oh, you know, here we can wiggle some masts in now. Let's do that. So to get a mast, I'm going to just kind of wiggle, jiggle, wiggle, jiggle, wiggle, jiggle. Otherwise, this isn't really going to be a cross shape, is it? And then you're going to be like, but she said she was doing the cross and it doesn't look like a cross. All right. So just kind of wiggle, jiggle, wiggle, jiggle. So you can start to see it. Um, we'll add a little bit of kind of angling here. We'll angle out from here. Okay, we'll make some fine tunes there. Okay, so then the other thing I want to do to add a little bit of balance in this is just add a little bit of that deep color kind of right in this corner. Um, I feel like if it goes off screen and is completely light, then it's going to feel heavy, almost like it's going to tip over. So just adding some of that kind of color in here. And again, we're base coating, right? So then we're going to take some more of that dark color and just kind of create like a little shoreline here, maybe imagine some bushes off in the distance or trees. I don't even know what. So I'm just kind of grabbing from amongst these mushy colors. We like the mushy today. It's not going to be mushy forever. We'll add some vibrance back. And, you know, you can kind of make it, make it bumpy. Keep it loose. Cool. So I feel that I got way too light on these. Um, so I'm probably going to take it down a notch. But first, I'm going to just wipe off my brush because I got a lot of color going. But I still have some of that color and I want to keep it. So I'm literally going to, I wiped it, but I did not rinse it. I'm going to try to drag it through this mid-tone here. I'm going to start mixing. Let me tone down. Teal. See how we neutralized the heck out of that? Almost created like a gray. That's going to be more what we're seeing in the shadows. And I think that's going to be more appropriate to kind of what's here. So I'm going to kind of come over this. I'm not going to get a full coating, but I'm just going to add a little bit of a little bit of depth in there. There we go. So a part of me wants to just keep going with the sailboats, but part of me feels like I don't want to over overkill it. So now that we've kind of shifted that color tone, we want a little bit of it to reflect down here, but I want to take it a bit deeper. So I'm going to just drag through all those colors, bring it over here, grab a little more teal, tiny kiss of white, not too much. Need to neutralize it just a bit more. 
Okay. So now you see how this kind of relates to that, but it's a much darker tone. So then I can kind of bring some of that in just right under here. So this guy is actually, I'm going to do a little bit of an angle out. So if this guy angles this way, then we want the reflection to kind of angle out the opposite, like so. And then just a couple little bits. But we still want some of that dark tone in there too. There we go. All right, so this and this are, are a little bit visually confusing. We'll, we'll, we'll tweak that. Maybe grab a little bit more of the quinacridone. We'll bring some of that in here to kind of loosen, uh, lighten. Yeah. Okay, that works. Gonna add a little bit more quinacridone back into this here, just on top. It's catching some of the grays. Again, I'm trying to stay in the dark tones. And then I want to add a little bit of brown in here. So I don't know if you've been to a, a dock recently, but I know that when I look at boats, a little bit of the darkness to it. It's kind of a nasty tan. They tend to they tend to get kind of a stain look on it. So we're gonna add just a little bit of a kind of a brown, maybe a smidge more of the teal. So it's gonna have a little bit of a stain look kind of at the base. There we go. And again, it's fine to have little bits of it peeking out. So we've got some really rough, roughed in boats there. That works. Offloading. I'm struggling with a mast. I feel like I can't get this guy small enough, but we're going to keep trying anyways. We're just going to see what we can do. So I'm going to mix a little bit more of that kind of mushy color. I'm going to go with the quinna and the, and the screaming green, adding a little bit of the teal to it again to just darken it up. There. It's a darker version. And now I'm going to like take my flat brush and just kind of work it through to try and create like a blade edge on this thing. So I can then kind of have some like little mass bits that kind of come across little just bits like so. Again, we don't have to be perfectly accurate. We're here just kind of having fun. But I do know they tend to like furl the sails kind of this, they come out to the front here. So we're kind of create like a little line that kind of goes towards the bow. And then oftentimes when they're parked, they've kind of got a, a thing kind of coming from here that maybe goes out and that's the other portion of the sail. So I want to say this is the jib that's all furled up here. And then this is the mainsail here. And I know, is that weird? I actually know the names for these sails. I took sail, like two sailing lessons in college. But I kind of didn't like how the boats like wanted to tip over. That kind of gave me the heebies. So I'm just going to kind of carry those out a little bit. They all seem to be at the same level. So maybe I need to change it out a bit. But we can also, again, as we come around and, and um, paint the background in over this, some of my sort of smushy mush here, we can, we can tune quite a bit. And I'm, I'm counting on that. I'm counting on that. Adding a little bit of weight to this. A little bit of weight, a little bit more. I'm just trying to go slowly. I'm just adding a smidgy highlight kind of right on top of some of this. We still want the dark to show. Again, the little cross pieces. We may have to, we may have to get, get a smaller brush at some point to just kind of show some of this off. Just kind of. So the, the sails when they're, when they're furled, they tend to kind of create this almost like this angled thing and then a, the boom that sticks out. Yeah, we use the word boom. Boom. All right. And another thing I'm just noticing to make this feel more accurate is that the cable hits to here and then the, the mast tends to go a little bit higher above that. So I've got a few very uber skinny pieces that just kind of fly off kind of out this way and this way. And, and maybe we'll kind of add those in, add those in later. But I feel like we've at least kind of 
kind of blocked it, blocked it in. So we've got a base. I'm going to add a kind of an orangey, orangey color <laughs> with my mushy, or with my screaming green and my quinacridone. Kind of right a, whoops, stop. Sorry, my camera was doing a thing. Okay, so adding a little bit of color along here again, just kind of right along the top. And now I feel like maybe it's a good idea for me to go find um, some, go find some more colors to use, right? And Holly says, kayaking is a funny thing to pick up for someone who doesn't like to tip over in the water. <laughs> oh my gosh, Holly, you have a really good point. Although honestly, I didn't really mind the tipping over. I don't know why I stopped. Um, I don't know why I stopped sailing. Maybe it just didn't didn't fit, or I was trying to be all hody toady and too much of a bear drinking something. I don't know. But yeah, I'd actually don't mind tipping over in boats. I'm a whitewater kayaker, and at least sometimes during the year, I, I can actually roll the boat completely over and back up and have in the past when I was in better shape, run waterfalls and all that stuff. Right now, I'm not really there. So, okay, wait, so I'm going for some more color here. I'm just looking in my, my, my tub of color to see what we got. I feel like we need like a yellow. I seem to have put all my yellows here. Let me grab one. Here we go. Here's my buddy, Folk Art. If you don't have this one, the Folk Art Daffodil Yellow, you should get it. You will be happy. Apparently this is not my new fresh, or this is a new one. All right, here we go. So we've got that, we need a little bit more white. So yeah, there's something about this whole COVID thing that's that slowed me down a little bit, I don't know. So I'm feeling, so in here I wanna get a little bit, bit of a peachy color. So let's go, let's see what we can do by and mix, mix that. So a little bit of the yellow, a hunk of the, Quinacridone to create kind of a warm orangey, some white, that's pretty dark. So then I'll come over here with that same color, add another chunk of white and take it a lot lighter. So I'm really just trying to create kind of a couple of almost sunset -y colors. And so I'm going to put a little bit of now they have their range. I'm gonna kind of come back into the darker, put a little bit of that kind of right in here in the sky. And it's okay if you get kind of a mishmash of color. I picked up a little bit of the, the yellow from, from in there. I almost made my own sienna. We're gonna kind of just bring little bits of that kind of in here, the darker tone at first. I'm gonna kind of reach some of that lighter, yet clear, whiter stuff. Kind of bring it in a little bit more magenta in here, I think. Touch of yellow, touch, touch, touch of yellow, just to warm it up a little bit. Bring some of that in. There we go. I mirror that kind of in the sky. Now, honestly, if you saw the reference photo, you'd be like, Wendy, you're taking a lot of liberty with that photo. Yes, yes, I am. And that's probably also personally why I'm not showing it. Cause you'd be like, I don't know how you came to that conclusion that that's what that looks like, but that's what that looks like, my friends. All right, now just to ensure that we get a little bit of crispness, I'm going to add a little bit of kind of lightness kind of right in here and right on up into here. Cause so I want that one edge to kind of pop a little bit. And I have to be careful of my masts, but I'm going to bring little bits of this lighter color in kind of here. And it's okay if I cover parts of those, um, parts of the sail masts. And it's also okay if little bits of that um, quinacridone kind of peek through. Now we're going to take a little bit of this teal over here with some white. I'm kind of blend some of that in here to get kind of a, a neutral, a neutral tone. And we'll use some of that to kind of intersperse in here. Little bits, just kind of zigging and zagging, kind of lighten up the water a little bit. 
And we're keeping this loose, right? We're not sticking to accurate. We're just kind of playing, having fun. I'm going to have to bring those masks back after we get some of the water done, but at least kind of have a sense of where they are. And I have little bits of that mermaid tail teal, which is pretty much the, like the perfect cyan peeking through. looking for a second. What do I got going on here? So I've been, I, I've protected this little bit of teal a little too much. So I need to come over some of it. There we go. Kind of coming up right against here. I'm now taking, we'll kind of mix a similar color to that. A little bit more white. And we'll take that guy up into the sky. Huh, I got some yellow in there. What do you know? Offload a bit. I don't think I want that yellow. What I just hit showing up when I'm when it's least expected, right? <laughs> Christy says taking a law of liberty turns it into your own original. This is true. This is true. I do love the fact that you could look, and I'm looking at an actual photo of a, of some sailboats, and it's like six or seven sailboats. But I can't exactly have six or seven sailboats traipsing across this thing and still be you know, demonstrating the concept of a cross because then it would look more like a ladder or something. Although would that just be almost like multiple crosses. So I'm starting off pretty loose on the sky, allowing a lot of that quinacridone and magenta to show through. It's going to give this a dusky look. And so when you're painting something, if you're feeling certain colors that you really want to use, and even if the picture's like, you know, bright as day, you can add dusky colors and be like, nope, it's now, it's now dusky. Cause I said so. All right, here comes the little bit of a challenge kind of coming around these arms here. I think in fact, kind of just gently placing that edge of the, edge of the, the brush to kind of almost outline it's going to be rough at first. We'll, we'll tune it. So the only issue with trying to paint around these, these masts and various bits like this, I love the pink showing through, but I do feel like I now have this sort of mushy sky, which doesn't jive with this. So that's, that is going to take us a, a minute to kind of get that, to get that right. So we'll just, again, continue to sort of block it in, grabbing a little more teal because I had the white. Okay, here we go. And again, it's okay to be kind of iterative on this. Um, and come back and let's see, Linda asks, is the magenta helping with the sky or causing some challenges? That is a great question. I will answer that later because I don't really know yet. It's a little bit of both. It's causing some, I think the biggest challenge for me is in fact, this thing right here, like the masks. Like, I love the the, uh, the look of blocking things out, um, but I'm wondering if, you know, trying to block out around all those itty bitty tiny details is going to be more more of a pain in the you know what than than a help. So I would I'm not necessarily blaming the magenta right now. I think the magenta still works. Um, but it may be that, you know, in retrospect, if I were to do this again, I would actually just paint the sky and then add the masks back. Um, we could still do that. But I feel like we've come so far. I'm just going to try and like, just trying to try and like get, get through that. And I will have to add some stuff back because I've lost like the little points and tips here. Okay. 
but I've also not like fully done with this guy either. But yeah, this is this is really rough in here. It's starting to just add like a little bit more directional stuff, kind of add a bit more. So I don't know. I don't know. I need some more teal. That's what I need. I need some more teal. Let's get a little crazy here. I'm going to grab some more teal. I'm going to go way teal on this guy. Let's go way teal. I'm going to kind of go over this stuff that we just painted and I'll add some of it back in. I think for continuity sake, I'm going to be like, it's going to drive me nuts. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> sometimes I plan it right and sometimes don't but you know this is part of the experimentation and learning I mean I, I learn something from almost every art piece I ever do sometimes it's good stuff and sometimes it's annoying stuff so now that I've put that kind of teal in the sky actually that's not so bad that that's really helped a lot oops okay and I'm gonna then take that teal and I'm gonna reprise it kind of here See, I knew I had a, a teal thing going on. I'll kind of reprise it in the, in the water. Kind of right up against the edges there. And we'll, we'll re-add the masts. It's actually working pretty well now. There you go. I just had to commit to um, going over those things. Oh, Linda says, don't get me wrong. <laughs> it's wonderful. I was thinking of myself in this question. Um, yeah, I think our big issue was really trying to paint around those. That was pretty, that was getting pretty frustrating, especially since I was trying really hard to kind of stick to the, stick to the big fat brush. Okay. Wow. All right. So on screen, that's looking pretty good. Sometimes I have a very strange perspective from here and actually being able to look at it on screen and see how it's coming out. It's like, all right, we got this. So you know what I'm seeing though? I'm seeing it's still very dark. So if you squint at it, you can barely see the boats and there's not a lot of highlights. So we've got some good darks and we've got some good mid-tones, but we don't necessarily have the lights. So I'm going to have to work to pop a few things here um, to, to bring this, kind of bring this guy to life. But I'm gonna add a few more midtones. I wanna I wanna get our, our shadows back now that I kind of painted over them. So I'm gonna do quinacridone and magenta, and I'm just gonna go with a purple. I think that purple will be fun. So kind of some of that in here, and then we'll kind of just wiggle jiggle the idea of a mast, the idea kind of a mast. Whoops, did I go the wrong way? A little bit. Bring it back this way. Adding little bits of purple into that shadow. And then coming back and just adding some color back in here. There we go. And don't forget to take those guys straight up off the page. And then some pieces that come down. There we go. Adding the, the booms back in. You can kind of just get loose. It don't even have to be terribly accurate here. Just stuff that makes it clear that there's a lot kind of, kind of a lot going on up there, right? And then we can add a little, I'm gonna grab some white in for that purple. There we go. Here's how we're gonna pull this off. Add some highlights, a little bit in there. A couple of kisses of highlight kind of in the, in the reflection so that you can sort of see that that's relating a little bit more teal in there, white, kind of a neutrally tone. And we're going to kind of come across, just get little parts of that boom. A little highlight on that. Yep. A little bit here. And 
And then you know what I see? Because we've got this peach here. We've kind of got this like sunsetty thing happening. Um, I want to add a little bit of peach highlight to, to these guys. Yep, so the, a little bit of that peach color. So we're going to kind of mix close enough. Come over here, a little kiss of yellow, kind of orangey it up, a little bit of white. I think I want to get a little bit darker with that. And so I'm just going to couple of kind of reference bits here. That, And again, that's just going to reflect the sky. That way it's now looking kind of dusky. We can even put like a little, just a little kiss of that on the, on the boat itself. Maybe a little bit here, so it's reflecting up. I need a better separation right in between those, but we'll get that. A little bit of peach, peach in here. So you notice it's like we're, this, the colors on this are definitely changing and shifting a bit, but I, I think we're okay with that. Then I'll just bring a little bit of that peach in through here as well, a little bit more of it in like so. And then I want to light up the sky a bit because, again, we still don't have any light, bright white zones. So I'm going to grab a bunch of the white. Just mix. I want that to pop a bit. Let's see about some yellow. Mm, too much purple. Offload. So yellow. So I'm, gonna, I'm now I'm like at the point where I'm like, can I find a spot on my palette where I, I the, where I can mix a color? A lot of white. A little bit more of that. Put a crit on to peach it up. A more white. Okay. We'll add some highlights in this zone here. A little bit there. A little bit right at kind of the horizon line. A little bit. Then maybe we'll add sort of some light bits here. Maybe it'll turn into like a little cloud or something. I don't know. We're adding clouds, guys. And I'm taking a darker color kind of right on top of that. Because in this point, the sun is down here. So it's actually lighting up the bottoms of the clouds instead of the tops of the clouds. So the bottoms are going to kind of have that highlighty look. I'm going to blend a mid piece here from those two colors and kind of smush between the two. Smush between the two. Not sure what I got going on right there. That section right there is a little, little funky. It's not quite working. I bet we can just pull it pull it back by adding a little bit of this kind of right in here. Come over it. There. Just make that make make the offending part just go away. Okay. A little more highlight on this guy. So now I'm gonna take that kind of sunny bright yellow color and just little kisses on this guy. Not too much, but just a little bit. I know it's a lot of layers of color, but we're just, oops, all right, I got to flatten that brush because I'm getting weird sticks and things happening. I can do a couple of, couple of bits here. Looks like I'm growing a dead Christmas tree on, or like a, a dead tree on top of this guy. <laughs> Extend the, some of those lines so they're smoothed out a little bit. Okay, so that's starting to pop. Okay, I definitely have got a dead Christmas tree here. That that didn't work. We'll fix it later. Okay, adding a little bit of lightness to this, neutralizing these guys. So with all the blue, I'm finding I don't really want these guys to be too blue. And I'm gonna lighten kind of somewhere in between. A little bit, just peeking. Is that too much? That is a little much. Okay. Just 
just want to tie this together a smidge. So we're going to have a couple of bits of the light peeking around here. Not too much, but just a couple. Bear with me while I just take a look and think. Okay, I'm going to go in with some almost straight white. Oops. And add just a little bit more, kind of right in here. I did mix, I did add a little bit of yellow to it, or I mixed it, it into a little bit of the yellow, so it's not pure white. Pure white would be too jarring. Even this is a little bit jarring. So I'm going to grab some more of the yellow in there, just kind of blendy, smush, smush. I'm squinting at it because squinting always helps. I lost some of the blend in there. Use my finger to kind of tone that a little bit. I want some darkness in here. Ah, that's what's missing. Shadows. Offload. Grabbing a little bit of this purpley color. Maybe a little bit of the blue. I'm just going to kind of add a little bit of depth kind of right in and here and in here it's too much smooth it so in the picture there's like a ton of like rando junk on top of these boats so if you want to add some of that rando junk on top of the boat feel free um Kind of, kind of create these semi-neutral kind of purpley tones where there's just sort of stuff going on. Nah, never mind. It doesn't work. If we're going to do something, we got to go dark. So adding just a little bit of, a little bit of dark, dark in here. A little bit of dark, a little bit of, a little bit of dark. Yeah, this, so I, you know, mm. this one's a bit of a struggle, right? probably could have used to spend a little bit more time planning it. But that's not bad. So I think in retrospect, um, you know, a small brush would be really nice to kind of work on this. I might, I wouldn't go with blacks, but probably a dark brown in here. Um, but yeah, at times like a small brush just to get a little bit of definition of the details, maybe sharpen some of those edges of the boats like that. Oh yeah, that helped a lot too. Like I didn't quite get the masts dark enough and so I've got these highlights and sort of weird dead trees going on. But I think I think we can I think we can kind of call it call it good anyways. So let's see. I, I've been so busy like yapping and trying to save this thing. Um, <laughs> Christy said I can get so focused on a paint when painting a particular part that I can lose track of my overall purpose. Amen, sister. We might have we might have had a moment of that. Lisa Joe says, I love the sunset part. It literally looks like it's a glowing sunset. Well, thank you. And then Christy says, it looks beautiful, Wendy. Of course, that was five minutes ago before I um kept going. But I think we're pretty close. As I as I squint at it, you know, we do have some lights and darks. I don't have anything that's like screaming with brightness. Um, we do have some dark parts. But, you know, it's it's not bad for kind of messing around, you know. Well, really just messing around. Let's see. Can I? I wish I could figure out how to share a screen. If you saw the, the, re the reference photo, you'd laugh. Maybe I'll try and post a picture of it just so that you can kind of you can kind of see and be like, wow. So how did how did you get that from that? Um, but again, that's the whole point is we're taking artistic license. Um, it was an inspiration. It was enough to kind of give me a sense of what we had. So the photo had some, you know, teal sky and, and water. Um, the photo, this, I amped the heck out of this. Um, and it maybe is an early morning and I don't know, it was probably Photoshop like crazy. So I hope this is helpful. Um, I haven't really created a tracer. If you guys want one, um, I can certainly post one inside the, um, the Let's Paint group and the Inner Circle. Uh, for those of you watching from, from the Blue Cat Studio page, uh, please feel free to join my free painters group, the Let's Paint with Blue Cat Studio. And, um, you know, that's where I tend to post any kind of tracers and 
organized information a little bit better. Um, the Facebook page itself gets, and plus you get better notifications. Anyways, I hope this was helpful. Thank you guys for joining me. As always, I absolutely love painting with you. Um, and if you have more questions, please feel free to post them uh, in the, you know, in the comments. And if you want to be notified when I'm going live, um, just text me. I lost my, my cute little arrow thing, but my text number is 571-416-7102. Yeah, that's my number. So text me that and you can text um, sailboat if you want the tracer. Or you can text the word live if you want me to notify you that I'm going live. I hope that helps. All right, you guys. I will see you next time. Alrighty. Bye.